Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things. I also like to get a lot of book mail, book box subscriptions. I have two things to show you today. One of them is the Nightworms for October. The other one is a special Twisted Retreat package. That is huge. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> just briefly open this box because it was a plain box and I wanted to make sure that I got what I was supposed to get or what I thought it was and it is the Twisted Retreat Survival Box Special Edition. So we're going to get to that in a second. First we're going to take a look at what we got from October Nightworms. If you see my channel you know that I like horror books and subscriptions and that is exactly what Nightworms is. It is a horror book box subscription. It's not really a box. It comes in this padded envelope and there is usually a newer hardback and then a smaller paperback and some stickers and stuff. Sometimes some extra goodies. So right now I'm going to open that. And um, first thing we have is some tea from Riddle's Tea Shop and this is The Haunting of Tea House. English breakfast and cream. So this is a black tea, which I do like. Um, I have a lot of tea to drink, but this is the season for that. When I just want something warm to drink and it's too late for coffee. Ooh, next we have a really pretty sticker of a skull and a candle. And in the smoke, we can see a castle. And this is an adorable sticker. It says, "Tis the season." We've got some mushrooms and little pumpkin head guy there. We have a couple signed book plates for our books that we're gonna get. And it looks like this theme is "Scared of the Dark," and they always include. The, a bookmark like this and this is to me like the perfect size bookmark for a um hard hardback all right on to the books i want to put the smaller one first Ooh, let the woods keep our bodies by e.m roy i love whoa i didn't mean to throw that at you i love this cover I don't even know what it's about, but I could already tell I'm interested based on this cover. It says, in the small town of Easton, Maine, weird things happen sometimes. Weird things always be happening in Maine. This says, Leo Bates knows what's behind every corner in her hometown where she's lived her whole life. Some disjointed memories and grief from her late parents. Sure, but nothing dangerous, nothing unexplainable. But when, but the familiar becomes strange the longer you look at it. When Tate Mulder goes missing and Leo is pinned down as a prime suspect, she can only watch as the town she thought she knew deteriorates around her. She's forced to confront the truth about her parents, Easton, and her relationship if she is to survive an onslaught of conspiracies, cryptic monstrosities, and whatever is hiding in the woods where Tate has, was last seen. Finding the girl she loves may be the only way to restore balance to Easton if such a thing ever existed to begin with. And this is from a ghoulish books, which I like their little symbol there. So this is a hundred and it's under 200 pages. So this should be a quick fun read. And next we have, I'll let you see it first. Ooh, I have been seeing this book all over Instagram, but have I read anything about it? Nope. It is The Haunting on the Hill by Elizabeth Hand, which of course the title just reminds me of The Haunting of Hill House. Let's see what this is about. Open the door. Holly Sherwin has been struggling playwright for years, but now after receiving a grant to develop her play, The Witching Night, she may finally be close to her big break. All she needs is time and space to bring her vision to life. When she stumbles across Hill House on a weekend getaway upstate, she is immediately taken in by the mansion, nearly hidden outside a remote village. It's enormous, old, and ever so eerie, the perfect place to develop and rehearse her play. 
Despite her own hesitations, Holly's girlfriend, Nisa, agrees to join Holly in renting the house for the month, and soon a troop of actors, each with ghosts of their own, arrive. Yet as they settle in, the house's peculiarities are made known. Strange creatures stalk the ground, disturbing sounds echo the halls, and some and time itself seems to shift. All too soon, Holly and her friends find themselves at odds not just with one another, but with the house itself. It seems that something has been waiting in Hill House all these years, and it no longer intends to walk alone. So Haunted House book, yeah. And yeah, it does sound a lot like The Haunting of Hill House as well. So hopefully this one lives up to that. All right, that's everything in the Nightworms October package. Now we're gonna check out this Twisted Retreat box. This was not their monthly box. This was a limited edition um, box that they had and they called this their survival box. So we've got this little thing here I'm gonna keep handy. Show you what it looks like, but it seems like there's a lot of stuff in there and I see a jigsaw thing right on top. Do you want to play a game? Probably. So it's like this little case here. Maybe the game is figuring out how to open this. Oh, okay. I didn't want to break it. Oh, this looks like a little travel case and it shuts up really tight. But on top I see a compass. Um, a flashlight and it has like a little hook here and then a keychain flashlight thingy this looks like a knife like a little foldable pocket knife I don't know what this is but it looks like a multi-use tool this is probably something that's really handy to take with you camping or just to have in your vehicle. This is, it looks like a pen, but this has like a pointy top, which I think like if you had to break through glass, you could do that. A whistle and some other tool that I do not know what this is. Let me just tell you, I've never been camping in my life. Um, well, I guess that's a lie. I guess I was a Girl Scout. I don't know if I'd call that camping, like in a cabin. Um, but I've never been like camping in a tent. Um, but I will keep this in my car because I do think there's some useful things in here. But this is a very useful item. Next, it says we have a vacuum insulated mug. And we have gotten a similar type mug in the past without a lid. And I really like it because they're lightweight because um, they're metal. And this has a uh, living life one undead day at a time. Sorry, my dog is barking at something. And then on the other side, a bucket list of the dead. And this one does have a lid. So that is useful and I really like these metal ones because they keep my tea warm or my coffee warm. Next we have a box. I think we have a big boy flashlight now. Property of Buffy Vampire Slayer. And it has a little thing there that you can hold on to. This me be a rechargeable battery that came with it because it came with this as well and I could always use a flashlight I feel like whenever I actually need one um, they're all dead or my son has stolen them away but the power does go out quite often here especially in the fall because we get a lot of wind and then this looks like a deck of cards probably to keep you oh no I'm wrong it's like a carabiner thing but uh oh I don't know how to put it back um oh it has a little screwdriver thing there as well 
All right, I'm gonna have to play around with this, but um, that is useful. My dad always carried a knife in his pocket and I never have, but I probably should. Next, it looks like we have a first aid kit. So these are all the things we need to survive in the woods. But this looks like a pretty well made, like a handle. Oh, and it has stuff in it. So we have a thermometer. We have like a, a bandage. We've got safety scissors, another bandage, tape. We've got gauze, alcohol wipes. Oh, an emergency blanket. So one of those. This is actually quite useful. <laughs> Um, I don't even have all these things right now. This thing is stuffed. We've got some gloves, bandages, cooling patches. They've really thought of a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. And actually better stocked than what I have in my bathroom right now. So this is very useful. Oh, and an eye wash kit. Next up, I have a box here. Oh, wow. It says, whenever feasible, one should always try to eat the root. What is this? Oh. So it is like something to cook with, with a lid. I feel like this is lost on me because I have not been camping. I don't think I realized that this was quite literally a survival kit. I thought it was just like to survive horror. Um, this one is Hannibal Cauldron Camping Pot. This is really well made. Um, I, I'm gonna have to find someone that would really use this because this is really nice. Next we have something from the Umbrella Corporation. Okay, so it comes with, oh, a towel, like a thin towel, and it has holes on the side. So this says that it is a towel or shirt carrying case. So it and it looks like it's got holes so that if it was wet or something, it could air out that way. So this might actually be useful for hiking. And then it looks like maybe there's a book in here. So I'm going to save that for last. So this looks like a compass on a bracelet. Like that. Let's see. So it says it's a battle royale bracelet. Wearable art inspired by the manga and movie. This looks a little scary because the piece that goes into the bracelet is a knife. Which I guess is dangerous and useful at the same time. I don't really get how it's battle royale other than there is this really... Um, tiny thing that says BR there. I did read this book this year. I don't remember there being a hidden knife in a compass or anything like that, but there probably was. So that is that. And then we have, is this a shirt? I don't remember giving a size for a shirt, but maybe we did. I ordered this a long time ago. Oh, this is cool. So it is a shirt. And we've got ghost face on there and it says, I survived a horror story. I like that. That is cool. It's made out of kind of like this thin material um, that's breathable. So if you were out hiking or something or camping, this would probably be perfect. And it looks like there's one more other big item in here. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh. So we have a backpack and it looks like it's from themed off of 28 days later. 
This is quite the pack. has like a secret pouch in here like for your shoes I would say that for a book box this is a very well made backpack like the qualities there for a camping pack I'm sure that it's not like but I think it would get the job done this is huge this is nice it looks like it could be carried a bunch of ways so let's see we got the Buffy flashlight, the Saw camping tool kit, Battle Royale bracelet, Hannibal Cauldron pot, um, zombie campfire mug, Resident Evil towel shirt carrying case, and the Resident Evil face towel, 28 days later essential gear pack. It says it transforms into a weekend bag for adventure, tear and water resistant with wet and dry compartments. So yeah. The Scream t-shirt, the Purge inspired carabiner, the Last of Us inspired first aid kit, and then we have our book. So let's see what our book is. Oh, and there's another strap for it. Okay. Da, 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 da. Never Rest by T.L. Bodine. I've never heard of this. But it's got Haley Piper quoting on the back. We have this on the sides. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so here is the hard cover that is foiled. We've got some beautiful end papers. Of course, it is signed. And then it looks like it has a ribbon bookmark. And then here's the other side of this. Look at that. I like the red bloody foil. This says, one year ago, Sean Miller, journalist and mountain climbing enthusiast, reached the summit of Mount Everest and was never seen again. Unable to move on without knowing the truth of what happened, his widow Carrie insists on an expedition to search for Sean's body so it can properly be laid to rest. Tom, Sean's best friend and former climbing partner, agrees to serve as an expedition guide and promises to keep Carrie safe on the mountain despite their complicated relationship history. Dun, dun, dun. Guided by a travel journal left behind by her husband, Carrie ventures into the frozen, open-aired graveyard of the world's tallest peak. But as Sean's diary and Carrie's experiences reveal, climbing the mountain is more than a test of endurance. A battle of will, it's a battle of wills with an ancient and hostile force protecting the mountain, and the dead do not rest easy at the summit. Never Rest is a survival survival thriller with a hint of supernatural that will appeal to fans of Allie Wilkes' All the White Spaces and Amy McCullough's Breathless. I have not read those, but I, I do believe I own All the White Spaces. This sounds perfect winter horror. I like, I love these footprints here. This sounds really good. Yeah, it's just a little bit over 200 pages. So this one does sound really good to me. I think that this box was amazing. Um, I am not a campy type person. Um, I didn't realize that it was quite a literal theme when it said a survival box. I thought it was like, you know, surviving in a zombie apocalypse or something. Um, but there are quite a few useful items in here that I will use and I'll have to rehome some of these, especially that cooking pot that is amazing. Um, but I am going to read this and yeah, that was everything. Thank you guys so much for watching me unbox all this stuff. And I think I'm nearing the end of all of these Halloween themed boxes that I have pre-ordered. I do have some from, um, book of, or once upon a book club that I will be showing sharing with you later once I read the books. Thank you so much for opening all of these with me and as always stay spooky.